The, the topic today is aesthetics. Aesthetics of a fine print, in particular in how we apply uh, aesthetic principles and aesthetic ideas to, uh, to a, a fine print. Uh, can anybody tell me what aesthetic and aesthetic is? You have an idea about? Like your style. What? Like almost like your like your style. Yeah. Could be style. Style. Could be style. What me? What's confusing about it? Like what? Okay, form, uh, form and style. Uh, anyone else have an idea about what an aesthetic is? When people talk about aesthetic, what are they talking about? Yeah, you know, it's a word that's abused, I think, but you know, I think it's a good idea to clarify it in our own minds. Like all the, I think, isn't an aesthetic like your choice of like if you decide, like an aesthetic choice to tone that print or, you know, your choice of how to go about the print, the decisions that you make. Okay. The contrast. What? Of, the what? The contrast and lightness and darkness and density and all that. Okay. Yeah, it's, it could be a personal interpretation of what you consider to be good or beautiful or something that works. Art, it's art. It's what art is about, it's supposed to be. When we talk about an aesthetic, we're talking about really a, a philosophy of art. What your philosophy is. And the sooner we start thinking about it, the better. The sooner we start thinking about it, the better. Because as we move along in this business, we develop likes and dislikes, as you have already. All of you already have a pretty good idea about what you like in terms of a print. And as a result of that, you're also, I think, I hope, also talking about or thinking to yourself about how am I going to get better at this? Or what is it that about this that I like or not like? So you begin to make choices. Right? Uh, to me, an aesthetic is uh, really a way of looking at, at my art. Um, it has to do with, for me, it has to do with, with truth, it has to do with beauty, it has to do with, with an expression inner expression, right. and uh, we have various kinds of ways of doing that in photography. Uh, when we talk about art in photography, what's commonly known as <coughs> art photography, for lack of a better expression. Art photography has to do with expressing something which is, comes from the inside, your interpretation of something, which is a uh, and many of you have already experienced that when, when you deal with making a print with you. Well, I may ask you some questions about what is it really that you want out of this. So when we talk about an aesthetic in print making, we're talking about what it is that pleases you, what it is that you think you find uh, beautiful or truthful or accurate, right? And that's where we begin then from a a common ground. You can start because then from then on you can take off and do whatever. Once you understand that and you're honest with yourself about it, then you can go ahead and begin to express yourself properly. So we knew we talk about all of these things that we talked about, directionality in a print. We talk about balance, we talk about perspective. We also talk about um, three dimensionality, how how to achieve three-dimensionality, how to enhance the illusion of reality, three-dimensionality in black and white print. We're talking really black and white here, mostly. Uh, all of these things that will make, will, will allow you to properly express yourself in terms of what you want to say. What has to happen is that you have to become excellent technicians. That's one of the reasons you're here. And you already are much better printers than you were when you started. And you are better printers than most of the people out there already. And you tell me if, if that's not so, because it is so. And I can tell you because I see it. So for all those reasons, now we're going to take a little, bit, a little closer look. For the rest of the term, we're going to take a closer look in terms of how we can make, make it easier for you or more understandable to make intelligent choices so that you can make, make your statement clearly.
That's what it's about. How to make your statement clear. And when we talk about fine-tuning a print properly, that's what we're talking about. We're talking, and you know how, how fine you can cut it. You can cut it where you can go 30 seconds more into the developer and you know what you can do. Right? That's, and that's something that most people have no idea about, unfortunately. You also know that you have options. And that's one of the things I wanted to impress upon you more than anything else. I don't like to tell you this is the way to go. I want you to know that you have options. And the idea is to ask yourself, what if? What if I were to do this? And what I, I try to show is that we have to pay the respect. We have to pay respect to, to the form. Essentially, by saying, uh, this is worthwhile. This is worth my while. And I'm going to, to develop, I'm going to devote the kind of time that this needs in order to be able to 